joke? No. Okay. This is episode 8 of Going in the White Sands, but it's three years later. Yes, now you're holding it. We just drove for five days again from Montreal to New Mexico. And I feel like I'm not ready because now it's getting so important. There are so many small things to think about. I think we have to go back to the source, which is like to connect to our um, like playfulness and creative mindset. We don't have like the um, pressure of having to produce something because that never works. Yeah, no, I really feel like I'm, I'm not ready, but I've never been that prepared exactly. to go there. Never. Yeah. We want to make sure that we... Not only do we like create the best we can, but also like that we are fully... Enjoying. Enjoying the moment. The moment. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The topic tonight is perfect focus and crisp images. So if we start with the with the focus, and this is, this is something that I wouldn't naturally talk about because I feel like it's just like a quick uh, quick thing to do but when we do workshops it feels like this is what people struggle the most with having the focus right because we're in the dark <laughs> and that's not easy I always disable the autofocus from the shutter button I also disable the continuous autofocus and I I leave my lens on autofocus but if I do a half press on my trigger, it's, nothing's happening. I have to use the back button. So I configure the autofocus on the back button on the camera. And you can do that on any brand of camera. I've been, been doing that for other reasons on all of my cameras for <laughs> over 10 years. And um, because I want to separate the exposure and the focus. But for, for light painting, you don't lock the exposure. The focus zone is only a uh, s small uh, square. It's, this is easier because you're not looking for like faces. Or you're just looking for a small point. So you're going to tap on the place where you want the focus. And you do the autofocus using the back button and you're done. If it's too dark, then you're going to either shine a light on your subject or what I usually do is just to leave the, the tube with Kim and she's lighting herself. So then I just do the autofocus and I'm done. And that's it. And I, as long as she's not moving back and forth, as long as I'm not moving the camera, we're going to stick like this. There's no point of doing the focus again. But having crisp images is a different story because even if you have your focus right, you may, you may have blurry images. You want to avoid that. Now, of course, you're working uh, with a tripod, right? But if the tripod is not sturdy enough, and this is something uh, I learned recently because I missed a bunch of images. So a very small tripod in the water with the waves got me a bunch of blurry images. So uh, I went back to heavier tripods just to make sure that nothing is moving. Also, the light pollution or the constant light, like if you have light from the, uh, the blue hour, it can be a problem if your expo exposure is too long. I don't usually see that during the blue hour because my exposure is going to, going to be two seconds. But if I'm shooting later at night with the stars, if I do a four or six second exposure and there's a, a light coming from anywhere, Kim is going to be quite blurry actually and that's something that is super easy to test. So you set your exposure to 4 or 6 seconds, you take your shot and you ask your model to not move at all and you look at the image, it's just not possible to be that still for that long. So you're going to come up with kind of a blurry subject. Yeah, and it's not as obvious as when like the subject is really moving a lot. You're not going to have like two noses or like it's just it's gonna look like mushy yeah it's just it's not crisp it's like soft mm -hmm. 
the way to avoid that is to stick to two seconds or less but sometimes it's just not possible if you want also to grab the stars that's not going to be a problem tonight I guess because we're shooting with the moon so uh, we'll stick to uh, short exposures probably two seconds four at max but I'm gonna test to see if uh, the focus is right so the way uh, that it's just that I'm going to take the time to zoom in the image on the camera viewfinder as usual we will use the moon in the shot because otherwise it acts just as any other uh, uh, light beam or uh, other source of light so it will put too much light on the subject so it, we use it as part of the picture what, that was the intro this whole thing no i think that was the whole video we oh, can yeah. we can leave the camera in the car This place is so unreal. Wow. This is so perfect. This is so perfect. This is so perfect. Ah! Well, so. Three years later means better equipment because everything is evolving because we learn and brands are delivering us better stuff. Not much a big difference for the pictures but for the videos, huge difference this time. So we can shoot in slower, slower motion and better resolution. Which is nice. Awesome. Thank you. That's my only upgrade. The new hat. The rest is the same. Let's go! What are you doing? So I'm tracking using a yeah, using an app to follow. So it's just to make sure that we can find the car. Where are we heading? But one funny thing is that it still doesn't feel natural to talk to a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. How so. long is going to take? How long? Well, it's still better than... It is. It's still better than it used to be a few years ago. Is it better than the one in 2017? Who knows? Who knows? Well, at least you can talk. Yeah. Didn't you lose your voice? Eric, I guess he inhaled a lot of sand and, and dust and today he can't talk. <laughs> okay, go ahead with me. The sun, yes, first word. The sun going down. Sunset. Wind. Sunset wind. Oh, it's too early, you think? So that's been like that all day. So we know that this is a park that is visited a lot, meaning a lot of footprints everywhere, but when it's uh, windy, everything disappears. Looks like wind was not part of the plan for the past weeks. <laughs> it's hard to find a clean dune with no footprint and there's, there's barely nobody, but well, we, see, we people. see people far away right there. But we're part of this. We're part of the problem. Oh, yes. <laughs> so the good news is once the park closes, we should be the only ones left. You're going to go on that dune and you're going to dance? Yes. Right there? That was beautiful. Okay, we just finished a dance session for maybe an hour. The light was so great. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to put any images, but if yes, put that right over here and now we're totally late for the light painting okay, so I'm currently testing the framing with my phone because I'm late um, we have nice lines with the dune on the left on the right that glow is beautiful the plants are in the way but I feel like they're going to disappear I feel like they're going to disappear later when it's going to be dark 
and I could go lower to make them totally invisible but then the mountains and the background are too small I need them to be bigger for to have Kim right there popping out of these mountains with the circle so that's that's what I'm going to try to do let's do it we have like 20 minutes 20 minutes but if we shoot that direction then it's it's now. ready <laughs> but this is too bright okay so it would be beautiful with the pink tube with the colors but this is too bright it's going to bring too much light we can do this shooting opposite only when it's more cloudy this is just too much uh, <laughs> we've been there before we don't even test it all right okay. that's your kit for tonight yeah with the bag what do you think yeah 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 Okay. okay you see what I'm doing right so this is good but it it looks more messy and when Kim was walking over there I saw that composition I asked her to turn on the, uh, the, the light the tube and I feel like we might do this instead what do you think the thing is that it's one or the other I don't think we can do both but currently this is this is looking very very good Success and then the, the moon was at the right uh, level, but uh, technically it was okay, but no magic. And I was about to just cut it off, uh, just go home. And I thought, okay, maybe we try a last dune, and boom! Boom! I didn't film, I should have filmed, but I didn't. Uh, but this is the image. for me if you want to add something that's it for me <laughs> well i haven't seen well i was like the the glow i don't know the ring around the the halo the, the halo yeah it was visible like with the naked eye so it was a nice spectacle yay it was a good first oh it was a good first night okay see you tomorrow